Infusionsoft survey. We'll use the built-in capabilities of Infusionsoft to create a simple survey that populates custom fields based on the results we get, and then we can customize emails with that information. So let's dive right in. So inside our Infusionsoft account, we'll need to create some custom fields based on the information we're collecting. So let's start right there. So we'll go to Admin, Settings, Set up custom fields for a contact. And I am going to create a new tab called Survey. And actually, I'll create a new header called Survey1. And then I'll start creating some custom fields. Realize you have a limit of 100. So that's not a lot, actually. So you want to be useful or smart about what you do. So I'm going to create a number of fields. So let's start by creating some gender-based custom fields. So we're going to do singular. Uh, lowercase. It's going to be text. We will put it in the survey. There it is. And a couple more. We're going to do gender plural. And then let's do one more question. And let's going to say accomplishment. We will create another field called accomplishment URL. So now we have some custom fields to work with. We're going to go and create a campaign. Let's call it survey. We'll start by adding a web form as a goal. Easy one, gender. And then we're going to ask, what do you want to accomplish? I'm not going to worry about the thank you at this point, um, though we could customize this. Settings, code, we're going to put this in here, back to our we want to update the custom fields based on the responses we get. So this is going to be accomplishment. Lose weight. I'm going to connect this here. I'm going to go in here. And we are going to set a custom field. And if they lose weight, we want to update accomplishment with the word lose weight. And let's go find a link. Let's grab that first one. We're going to update another field. Accomplishment URL. And I'm going to repeat that for the other options I have, which are <clears throat> make more money and better relationships. All right, so we've asked a couple questions and we've updated our <clears throat> Uh, custom fields. Now there is, I, mean, I did ask for gender, so I should do one more. And I'm going to put it down here. And gender woman.
But before I do that, let's make sure these uh, people go down this, these paths. So I'm going to go in and, in this decision diamond. And for this rule, <clears throat> it's going to be based on the form submission. Okay. Now, one thing to note is <clears throat> people are going to go down two different paths. They're going to go one of these three and one of these two. So I will actually want to put, before I send an email, I want to wait. I want to make sure that all the information has synced. I don't want to have any gotchas or anything like that. So I want to put in like the minimum wait, which I believe is five minutes. So that's what I'm going to call this. And let's just put in a delay timer of five minutes. And it can run any time between midnight and 11.45 p.m. Okay, now I want to send an email. And this is where I get to take advantage of the survey information. Hey, and here we go. We're going to customize this message. So let's start with, and then I'm going to say the gender. So let's put in that custom field. And it's going to be plural uppercase women or men who are interested in accomplishments might find this information interesting. Click here to read. Whoops. Now, I'm just going to simply hyperlink this word here. But first, I need to get that custom URL that I've created. So there's the accomplishment URL. So I just want to get that, copy that, highlight that, and there. So I've got a customized message that rep that says if you're a man or woman, and then it uh, references what they're interested in, and then sends them to an article related to what they've asked for. So we'd come back here, make sure everything's in ready mode, publish this. Little sanity check, make sure everything's connected properly, no loose ends, go ahead and publish that. And if we take a look at the web form itself, it's pretty bland. I would go get the code, use the hosted version, copy that. Go to that form, say if I want to lose weight, I'm a man, my name is Dave, let's do dwooding plus test33 at gmail.com. Now, let's go back and take a look at that person. Click on the name. Go to survey, and there it is. I've got the appropriate link. I've got the accomplishment that I want, and I'm a man, there's men, and there's men. So that's how you set up a simple Infusionsoft survey with the built-in capabilities.